Welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create six option cloud based infographic slide in PowerPoint. You can see it's uh, clouds coming and then the options are appearing. And in the second slide, I have used four options. So let's see how to create this slide in PowerPoint. Add a new slide, go to insert, shapes, select a rounded corner rectangle. Draw the rectangle while holding the shift key so that it will give you the equal dimensions. Make it no outline and using the arrow you can just rotate the object or you can use alt and left or right or key duplicate it add one more and change the color and again using the arrow you can just rotate it you can use any rotation you want any angle you can use it it's up to you to decide Press Ctrl D again, change the color. To look more vibrant, you can use a gradient color. And the last one, I'm going to add it. I think this is okay. just bring it in the center and I'm going to change the background color of the slide go to gradient fill I have used a kind of a sky color with a dark blue and a light blue sky blue color now I'm going to insert the clouds so the clouds are not available so I'm just going to create it first select the rounded corner rectangle and using that small you can just see that the point you can just make it fully curved and then you can add some oval shape here so i'm just going to add some random oval shape here you can just increase the size So basically it should look like a cloud select all the objects under format merge shape say union make it no outline and change the color to white now you can see it's uh, look like a cloud now you can select the cloud press ctrl d and give a black color make transparency level to 80 85 percent and under soft edges increase the side maybe to 13 points this is for the shadow effect bring it here and say send to back
Select both the clouds, group it, press Ctrl D and we'll use it for the other options. Just increase and decrease the size of the clouds. Yes, the clouds are done now. Now I'm going to give the shadow effect for this uh, rounded rectangle. Press Ctrl D and make it a gradient. One side I'm making it full black, the other one I'm making it white and the white transparency level to be 100%. This also the transparency level you decrease it and rotate it according to the shape of the and for this also I'm just going to give some soft edges. and send it to back copy this for the remaining options and rotate it as per the object design Let's control D again All right, now the shadow effect has been done for this. Go to insert shapes, uh, draw a line. So a line between the option and the cloud. Make it white. And you can increase the weight of the, the line. Bring it to the corner and say send to back and do the same thing for the remaining three clouds as well. You should hold the shift key so that the line will be straight, otherwise the line will not be straight. And if you want, you can increase the weight of the, the line. And if you cannot able to select the line, just by using this trick, you can select it. I have used some icons here. So before that, I'm just going to add some numbers. 0, 1. I'm using the font called Oswald. Make it bold and bring it here and rotate it. And you have to use the same color. Now duplicate it. and do for the remaining, this will be two. And this will be four. Now 
and I have used some icons which I have downloaded from the nounproject.com and place it here. And then you can add some text. I'm just saying equals lorem within brackets one, so it will give me some Latin text. And reduce the font size, make it center aligned. You can use the white font. and copy and paste the font for the other options as well. Now I'm going to add the clouds at the bottom, go to insert and again select the oval shape and you can use any oval shape, any different small, big or whatever so that it should resemble a cloud. and select all these objects, the oval shapes, merge and say union. You can make it no outline. Transparency level just increase it so that I'm just going to delete the, the bottom part. Go to insert shape and select one rectangle. Select the oval shape and then the rectangle and say subtract and make it zero transparency and white color now i'm just going to group all these objects the four objects here don't group the cloud and the line. I'm just going to group the number, the icon, the text and the shadow. So one, two, three, four, five. Five objects I am grouping it. Now it's time to do some animation. Go to animation, enable the animation pane. First select the cloud and say fly in. Make options as from top. And then select the, the line. This will be a wipe from top. And make it after previous and this also make it wipe from top after previous as well so i'm just going to use the animation painter and if you cannot be able to select the line do it manually wipe from top and after previous so just repeat the same thing for the remaining clouds.
so make sure that the out uh, the animations are in perfect place and the right animation has been given so let's see the final result the cloud comes and then option one second cloud option two third cloud option three and fourth cloud option four that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye